What a year it's been. I was writing my reflections earlier today on the past 251 episodes. Can you believe it's been that many? I just had overflowing gratitude in my heart. One year later, I still say to my family at least once a week, can you believe I have a TV show? I'm beyond blessed to sit in front of you every day and share my principles. In a tiny way, I feel it's my way of helping protect our great nation and sharing the light of Christ. And that's my privilege. The adventures that have come along hand in hand have made this past year the time of my life. In the past 365 days, I've had the opportunity to interview congressmen and senators, governors, a presidential candidate, American war heroes, generals, sheriffs, presidential advisors, and subject matter experts who are more knowledgeable about in-depth topics than most of us could hope to be our entire lives, and certainly more so than the bureaucrats in Washington, am I right? I had the honor to open at CPAC for Senator Marco Rubio to a packed crowd of 5,000 people. I was honored to be chosen for the top 10 in Red Alert Politics 30 Under 30 Conservative Rising Star Awards. I've also learned some very important personal lessons, which I'd like to share with you if I may. I've learned that my mom will fly 2,000 miles at the drop of a hat to cook me dinner the first week of a new job. I learned that, oddly enough, my hairstyle is very important to people, and that even in the intensely intellectual field in which I work, doing my hair is actually the worst part of my job. I've learned that being a boss is hard. It's not at all it's cracked up to be, until the moment when your team suddenly pulls together in a crisis situation with precision that would make a brain surgeon marvel, and then you're so proud you could burst. I've learned that when people disagree with your political views, they'll threaten to harm you. They'll even threaten to kill you. I've learned that people on both sides of the aisle get so heated about politics because it's not just about facts and logic and policy, it's about people. Our nation is an inherently good nation. Most people, aside from the rancid few, actually do want the best for everybody. I've learned that a year is a short amount of time. The platform I'm privileged to utilize is exactly that. It's a privilege. I've learned that as cynical as politics seem when we turn on our TVs or even talk to our neighbors, there are so many men and women fighting for the freedom of America, not just on the battlefield, but in the bureaucratic trenches of Washington, D.C. and beyond. Keeping my eyes on the one who created us all, I am profoundly cognizant of the responsibility inherent to that privilege every day to sit in front of this camera, talk to you, and be part of that movement. Thank you so much for watching us every day this past year, and here's to many more. You can tweet me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. After a year, you know by now I read all your tweets. Also, if you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. Remember, we were promoted to prime time, so we're coming to you every night at 9 p.m. Eastern now. Don't miss us tomorrow at 9, and have a good night.